So let's talk about scavenging stale resource records in DNS. Now, let's start by talking about what we mean with stale resource records. So if you're running a DNS server that is allowing dynamic updates, which remember if you're running your DNS server for your Active Directory uh, a zone will be running a dynamic or will be allowing dynamic updates. So what will happen is a device will get an IP address from the DHCP server. When it does, it will register that IP address in DNS, both the forward lookup zone and the reverse lookup zone, if there's one there, so that it can be found. And so when you open up the zones, you'll see this populated with all of your computer records. Now, those are dynamically created records. Those records are time stamped when they're created and they are not automatically removed. In fact, the only time that they will be updated is if a release or renew of the IP address takes place. If your computer shuts down or if the device shuts down, it won't remove that DNS record. So what will happen sometimes is our DNS will be populated by all of these stale records, the records that are no longer valid. So because they're dynamically updated, we need a process to dynamically remove them, and that's what scavenging records does. It gets rid of some of those stale resource records. So let's talk about how we can enable this. Now, we actually have to enable it in two places in DNS Manager, and you can see I've already got DNS Manager open here. So I'm going to right-click on my server and go to Properties. And under Advanced, I need to enable Automatic Scavenging of Stale Records. And then we have the scavenging period, and this is how often the scavenging will run. So by default, every seven days, it will go through and look for stale records to get rid of. Now, this enables it on the server. It doesn't enable it on the zones, but it has to be enabled on the server and on the zones themselves. Otherwise, it won't work correctly. So I've enabled automatic scavenging. I'm going to click apply and then OK. So now I need to set it on my zones. And if I expand my forward lookup zones, you're going to see I have one zone here, which incidentally doesn't support automatic updates, but that's OK. I can still set scavenging anyway. So I can set it for individual zones, or I can also right click on my server and set scavenging and aging for all zones. Now I'm going to do it for the individual zone. There's a little bit of an idiosyncrasy here with the DNS manager, by the way. So if you right click and all of these options don't come up, then what you might have to do, it's coming up now because I've loaded it. What you might have to do is actually expand it, come over here, click on it so that it loads everything. And then you should be able to right click and access all of your options. So just a little bit of an idiosyncrasy with the DNS manager there. So I'm going to go to Properties, and in my Properties, under General, you see right here I can set uh, Aging and Scavenging Properties. So I'm going to click my Aging button here, and here's my options for scavenging. Now, I need to enable the scavenge stale, uh, scavenge stale resource records. Then it gives me two different options here, two different intervals, the no refresh interval and the refresh interval. So let's talk about what both of those are real quick. When a record gets placed in dynamically, there is a timestamp attached to that record. This record was added at this point. So your no refresh interval says that record cannot be updated for that period of time. So in this case, it's for seven days. So for seven days, that record cannot be updated. And the idea here is to prevent a bunch of unnecessary updates and unnecessary zone transfers and replication and just creating a mess of everything generally. So to slow that process down, we do the no refresh interval. Now, depending on how often things change in your network, that might not be appropriate. You might have to pull that down a little bit. For example, if you have, you know, a one day uh, DHCP lease and you're constantly cycling addresses, that refresh, no refresh interval of seven days might be a little bit of a problem. The, uh, or the default for DHCP servers, though, for a Microsoft DHCP server, the default lease duration is, I believe, eight days. So it works just fine. Those settings are fine. So for that no refresh interval, that record cannot be updated. Now, once that no refresh interval expires, then we start the refresh interval. And that refresh interval is a period of time during which that record can be updated. 
Now remember, Microsoft DHCP defaults to an eight-day lease duration, if I remember correctly. So we get the lease. We can't update it for seven days, which shouldn't be a problem because we should still be running the same IP address for eight days. However, once we get to that, now we'll start allowing refreshes. Now, if that record gets updated within that refresh interval, a new timestamp is applied and we start this process over again, going back to the no refresh, refresh interval. If it does not get updated for those seven days, then it becomes available to be scavenged and removed because it's considered a stale record. Now remember, when we came over to our server properties over here, we had, come back here, go to our advanced, we are scavenging every seven days. So it might take a little while. I mean, it's going to take at least the 14 days for those records to clear out. It'll be a little bit longer depending on when the scavenging period hits. But the idea is that it will uh, automatically remove those stale records if we've turned it on in both places, here on the server and then also on our zone itself. Go back in there real quick. On our zone itself right here. Okay, make sure to turn it on in both places. Now, let me show you a couple of other things. Um, and this is a standard primary zone, so I'm not going to modify the format on it. So, ignore that. That's because on my standard primary, I'm not allowing updates. I just want to show you where the settings were. I do want to show you a couple of other things real quick. If we right-click and go to Set Scavenging and Aging for All Zones, this is the exact same page, except this will in one spot set it for every single zone that we have. That may or may not be appropriate, but if you have like, you know, 8, 9, 10 DNS zones here and you don't want to do each one of them individually, that's a great way to do it all at the same time, as long as the, stand, uh, the default settings or you can use standardized settings for all of them. Now, one other thing I want to show you is this right here. This will manually trigger a scavenging of resource records. You just select it, hit yes. It'll go through and look for any dynamic records that can be scavenged and it will automatic or will pull them out. So you can trigger that process manually rather than waiting for the timers to go off as well. Now, remember, the only things that will be scavenged there are things that have already passed through the no refresh interval and the refresh interval. Once they get through that, then they'll be marked available for scavenging. What that does is that says don't wait until the next seven day cycle comes around or whatever you have set for your uh, scavenging cycle. Don't wait for that to come around. Just do it right now. Okay, there we go. That is how you set up scavenging of stale, uh, stale resource records on a Microsoft DNS server.